together. Shabbat shalom, shabbat shalom, we're glad to have you here. And we're going to actually give you one more chance, both at home and here. We're going to need to warm up this space a little bit. We are in this space, in our social hall, just for the time being, just for the next week or so, week or two perhaps, as our lift is being installed. We're so excited our lift is being installed uh, on the Bima. And, uh, but, but we need your help. We need your help as we are slowly easing back into being back together and then kind of displaced by being in the social hall, which just doesn't have the same resonance and the same warmth. It feels like we're set up for a lecture, not for prayer. And, uh, and I hope those who are at home um, are, are, are also going to help us warm up the space. You have your C. Dream, your prayer books in your hand, and, and you have them, I hope, in your hand at home as well, or you can borrow one from the temple web, uh, from the temple uh, office if you call in. You should know that as well. If you're going to pray at home, you can, you can borrow one at home um, and also access it online. But that being said, I'm going to invite everybody to take a deep breath and leave whatever was this week that wasn't pleasing, that wasn't meaningful, that wasn't helpful, that wasn't joyful. Leave it to the side for now. It doesn't mean it disappears, but just leave it to the side. And then if you would take a deep breath, eyes open or close as you see fit. Know where you are in your body. Know where you are in your breath. Know where you are with your hands. Are they clenched? Are they at rest? Are they in your lap? Know how your eyes are shut or open. Know where your tongue is in your mouth, that vehicle that that helps for prayer? Is it in a resting spot? Is it cleaved to the roof of your mouth? I hope not. Let it rest. Take some deep breaths. And then with the cantor's assistance, we'll do one more refrain of the new tune, if you would, and help us warm up and move this into a prayerful space together. Ya la 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 ya la 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 ya ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 The Torah teaches us that God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. This we know. With what did God bless Shabbat? We are told with an extra measure of light. What is that extra measure of light? Some say that God blesses a person's face actually on Shabbat. It's hard for us to tell because some are in masks. Some are not with us in this physical space, but we are taught that God blesses a person's face on Shabbat so that the light that emanates from that person's face on Shabbat is not the same as it is during the week, that you actually have a different light on Shabbat. 
This comes to us from Genesis Raba, where we read about the creation of light. We have a little light yeah, effect for us to help us, right? But, but that the light that emanates from our face is, in fact, unique on Shabbat. Perhaps uh, that, that double portion of our soul that we have shines even brighter. So with that, we turn to the kindling of the Shabbat lights, a sign of blessing. And, and we hope that that blessing, that light, that brightness rests upon each of you. Please, if you would, turn to page 121 in your Sidurim. And we will read this top passage together on page 121. Mm -hmm. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we by our lives give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. together. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam asher kireshanu b'mitzvotav v'tivanu l'chad l'ikner l'chad l'ikner shel shabbat Amen. Let's continue as we turn to Kiddush, the sanctification of the day, page 123. We'll invite you, please, in body or in spirit, to rise. <laughs> In Hilano, Zikaro le Mase Vereshit, Kihu Yom Tehila, Le Mitra e Kodesh, Zeher le Tiyad Mitra Haim, Ivano Vaharta, Zirchano Kidashta, Mikor Armim, the Shabbat. Please be seated. Let's continue on page 124. We enter this sanctuary to welcome Shabbat. Within these walls, we sit surrounded by numberless generations. Our ancestors built the synagogue as a visible sign of God's presence in their midst. Throughout our long history and our endless wanderings, it has endured. A beacon of truth, love, and justice for all humanity. Its presence guided our ancestors to lives of righteousness, holding up to them a vision of their truest selves. Now we, in our turn, come into this space to affirm the sacredness of our lives. May we enter this place in peace. May holiness wrap around us as we cross its threshold. Weariness, doubt, the flaws within our human hearts, the harshness of the weak, let these all drop away at the door. In the brightness of Shabbat, let peace settle upon us as we lift our hearts in prayer. Join us, please, as we turn to page 134 and continue with the singing of Zamru Ladonai. <laughs> Oh. 
We hope that you have had a chance to warm your your Shabbat spirits up. Yes, no, I, I just need a little, just feels so cavernous in here. So I just need a little response. Yes, no? Yes. Yeah, yes, and no at home, I hope so. Yes, 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 yes. And hopefully the brightness of, of being back together in these spaces will also warm our Shabbat, our, our Shabbat spirit, our Shabbat soul as we as we welcome each other. Turn to someone who you perhaps don't yet know. Welcome them. Introduce yourself. Wish them a Shabbat Shalom, maybe at home. Turn to somebody at a, a square beside you. Wish them a Shabbat Shalom. And, uh, and then we will greet the Sabbath bride as we turn to page 138, the singing of L'cha Dodi. It's our custom to sing verses 1, 2, 5, and nine and customarily at verse nine we rise in body or in spirit and and we greet her we greet the sabbath bride by turning to the door and welcoming her page 138 please join me with clapping snapping hands to get into spirit of shabbat as rabbi asked you before the same way we'll do the music so please jo enjoy and be joyful <laughs> at the bottom of page 145 entrances to holiness are everywhere the possibility of ascent is all the time even at unlikely times and through unlikely places there is no place on earth without the presence <laughs> Shirata, 
Page 146, as we continue, we'll ask you please embody your own spirit to rise for our call to worship. Together, Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher B'divaro Ma'ariv Ha'avim, Chochma Poteach She'arim, Uvitlona Meshane Itim, Umachalif Et Hazmani, Umesader Et HaKochavim B'mish Marotayim Barakia Tirzono. Ore Yom Valayla, Zolel Or Mipnei Choshech, Bechoshech Mipnei Or. Umavir Yom Umevi Layla, Umavdil ben yom uben laila Adonai tzevao shemo. El chai betayam tamid yimloch alenu leolam va'ed. Baruch ata Adonai, ama'ariv, aravi. Wisdom and wonder, passion and instruction, story and symbol, all these things your Torah gives to us. And the more we devote ourselves to it, the more it grows and gives. What could be a truer token of your abiding love than this holiest of your works and the living language that gives it form? Baruch Ata Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Please be seated. Viata head at an eye, Lohecha, the holy Vapa, the whole Napsheha, the whole Miodeha, the Hayu Advarima, Asher and Ahim at Abeha, Hayo Malebaveha. Veshinantam levanecha, vedibarta baham, veshifteha bebeteha, uvleteha bazeref, uvshobeha ukumeha, uksartam levod ayadeha, vehayuletotapod beineneha, uhtaftam. Now, Mrs. Odbeteha, who be shareha. Leman is Yeru, Vasitem at Homes for Tai, did him Kirashim Lohem. Continue together. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace, give us the courage to say, Adonai, there is one God in heaven and earth. The high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and love. From bondage in Egypt, we were delivered. At Sinai, we bound ourselves to your way. Inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, time and again we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we rejoice as Israel did, singing on the shores of the sea. Ya bye bye bim bim bam ya bye bye bim bam ya bye bye bim bim bam ya bye bye bim bam ay 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 ya bye 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 bim bam ay 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 ya bye 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 bim bam mihi khamo kha bali madonna mihi khamo kha ne dar ba khodesh no radi lo to se fele, no radi lo to se fele, 
Blessed are you, Adonai, guardian of Israel, whose shelter of peace is spread over us, over all your people, Israel, and over Jerusalem. Baruch atah Adonai, haporei sukkat shalom aleinu, el kol amo Yisrael ve'al Yerushalayim. Let's continue with the singing of the Shamru, which can be found on page 162. Veshamru <laughs> La sorte cachabat le doratam meritolam beni avin ben Israel ati ati le olam kisheshet yami. Asadonai et hashamayim veharet uvayom ashvi shabbat 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 vayinachash shabbat shabbat vayinachash shabbat. Join us, please, as we continue with the tefillah on page 164. Again, we'll invite you in body or in spirit, please, to rise. Adonai, open up my lips, that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu, Belohe Abotinu, Vimadeinu, Belohe Abraham, Elohe Isaac, Belohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rahel, Belohe Leah, El Hagado, Hagibor, Vehanora, El Elion, Gomel Hassan. 
ילדים טובים, וקונה החום, וזוכר חסדי אבות ואימהות, ובגילו לבני ביניהם, למען שמו באחווה. מלך חוזר ומושיע ומגן, ברוך אתה אדוני, מגן אברהם ועזרת שרה. אתה גיבור לעולם אדוני, מחיי הכל אתה רב להושיע, מוריד הטעם, מכלכל חיים בחסד. מחייך הכל ברחמים רבים, סומך נופלים ורפך עולים, ומתיר אסורים, ומקיים אמונתו, בלי שני עפר, מי כמוך בגבורות, ומדום אלך, מלך ממית ומחייך. ומת מיח ישוע, ונאמן עד על היות הכל, ברוך אתה אדוני, מחייך הכל. אתה קדוש, ושמך קדוש, וקדושים בכל יום יהללו חסר לה, ברוך אתה אדוני, האל הקדוש. And please be seated. Page 173, as we continue together. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our mi minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Ata Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. Let's say Adonai Eloheinu Be'amcha Yisrael, Utfilatam be'ahava tekabel, utehi l'rotzon tamir avodat Yisrael amecha, baruch atash otcha levadcha v'yira na'avod. God of goodness, we give thanks for the gift of life wonder beyond words, for the awareness of soul, our light within, for the world around us so filled with beauty, for the richness of the earth which day by day sustains us, for all these and more we offer thanks. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hatov Shimcha Lachana Elahodot. Please join me in the Shalom Rav. Shalom Rav. Blessed are you, Adonai, who blesses your people, all people, we pray with peace. We take a few moments, all of us, each of us in our own way, we pray, we meditate in silence.
Well, we'll turn our prayers and our thoughts and the calm that we had in silence. I think this is one of the first times I can remember, uh, and, and I've been away for a few weeks, but where we've had the silent meditation without a train rolling by. So I, I think that's, that's uh, got to be symbolic in some way, shape, or form. So let's take that calm. I was also, I, I guess I, I have really, I'm well rested after, after some vacation notice that uh, that in this space our candles I don't know if you've noticed that as well and if you can see at home but our candles burn very differently here without any it must be the air conditioning right and any wind at all but they burn uh, much much slower and 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 much more evenly uh, yes I see your your, your faces are, are, are noticing the same thing so that that evenness and that that calm and that that quiet let us bring that into our prayers for those who, who really need it most, who are in some way struggling, whether for weakness of body or, or weakness of spirit, could use that same calmness, that same sense of, of ease. As we say, Mishaberach Avotenu Imotenu Abraham Yitzchak Yaakov, Sarah Rivka Rachel Valea, Hu Yivarech, Etacholim. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, Rachel, and Leah, bless and give strength to those who are struggling. This evening, we're holding in our prayers, Shana Esther, Bat Rachel, Chaya Necha, Bat Riva, Leah, Katriel, Parachia, Ben, Hershel, Lazer, Vishoshana, Sarah, Bat Abraham, Vesara, Alan Skirker, Laura Braun, Miriam Batella, Stephen Brent, Rini Feingold, Meredith Cabanis Ader, Herbing Manis, Masha Batsheva, Greg Novozenitz, Susan Silton Tobias, Kim Stanger Delisle, Gabriel Berger, Hank Ferrioli, Nancy Cohen, Lynn Fragan, Stephen Loeb, Tammy Henson, Brian Mansfield, Dean Harris, Abigail Herman, Michael Shartok, Alma Kubi, Joel, Joel Stein, Charlie Cantor, Julia Kavanaugh, Pat Connor, and Rick Soltera. If there are others whom you would add to, to this list or names that are better spoken aloud by you, please, as I look your way, would you share those names with us? For the family of Sharon Damadio, we hold you in our prayers and, and we are remembering her this evening as well. And, and, and for those at home, we'll invite you please to, to share those names in your heart, uh, add them into our prayers as we all of us say, may the blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for wherever possible health to be restored and strength revived. May God send renewal of body and spirit 
as we join together in saying, Amen. Page 371. May the source of strength who blessed the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. this is not the service when we normally tell stories. I have a very short, very, very short story to tell you, uh, just, just to introduce our thoughts for, for tonight. Once upon a time, as all good stories start, there lived the old Rabbi Itzik in a wretched little tenement flat in the city of Krakow in Poland. Itzik, we are told, lived in extreme poverty with his wife and his children, and through all the hard times, Itzik kept faith and looked after his family as best he could. And so it was that he believed when he had a dream one night that the dream contained a message from God. In the dream, he had a vision of a chest of gold hidden beneath a particular bridge in the grounds of a royal palace in Prague. At first he hesitated to believe what he had dreamed, but when the dream recurred a second time and then a third time, he decided to make the journey to Prague. But when he found the bridge of his dreams, he saw that it was guarded day and night by sentries and he didn't dare start digging. Nevertheless, he came to the bridge every single morning and he walked around it until evening. Eventually the guard noticing the rabbi's peculiar behavior asked him in, in a very friendly way, whether he was searching for something there or perhaps waiting for someone. And something prompted Rabbi Itzik to tell the friendly guard about the dream that had brought him all the way to Prague from Krakow. And the guard laughed and said, oh dear, you poor fellow, with your worn out shoes, you have trekked all this way for the sake of a dream. Well, more fool you for trusting a dream. I can tell you that if dreams were to be trusted, then I'd be on the road as well, because once I had a dream, that told me to walk to Krakow and to search out a hovel in the poorest district belonging to someone called Rabbi Itzik. There I was supposed to search behind the stove where I would find a hidden treasure. Just imagine how surprised, just imagine how I was supposed to find that treasure in a strange town where there must have been hundreds of Rabbi Itziks. And he laughed again. And Rabbi Itzik bowed graciously and he turned back home to find the hidden treasure hidden closer to him than he could have ever imagined. So this idea of turning back home to find the treasure hidden closer to us than we could have ever imagined is more beautiful and timely than perhaps we could ourselves imagine as tonight marks the beginning of Shabbat Nachamu. The Shabbat that follows Tisha B'Av, which just passed on Sunday, observed on the ninth Tisha of the Hebrew month of, a day of mourning, the day of destruction of both ancient temples in Jerusalem. And although we in the reform movement never have assigned central religious importance and prominence to the role of the ancient temple, many Jews understand Tisha B'Av as a day. I, I should go back uh, central in terms of our current practice, not in terms of where it was historically. But many Jews understand Tisha B'Av as a day to remember many tragedies, not just the horrific destruction of each of the temples that have befallen the, 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 our people throughout history. But, but the very many that we have been subjected to and to reflect on the suffering that still occurs to this very day. So tonight, as we begin what is called Shabbat Nachamu, 
following Tisha B'Av, we are intended to make this significant shift, focusing not on tragedy and fear, but instead on hope and healing and light. Shabbat Nachamu draws its name from the very opening words of the Haftarah, which is traditionally chanted from the book of Isaiah. Some of you from Torah study might remember these words. Nachamu, Nachamu, Ami Yomer Elohim, which means you all comfort, comfort my people, says God. This comes to us from Isaiah 40. In other words, kind of paraphrase this passage means, come together and comfort each other and you will heal. Come together and comfort each other and you will heal. Words that are entirely contrary to what we have been told these last 16 months. Yet we strive, oh, how we strive to find a way to come together so that we might comfort one another and begin to heal. So these ancient words from the eighth century prophet have unexpected and profound resonance today with that hidden treasure for many of us, in fact, revealed in the fact that really what we need, what we have been yearning for is to be together. And as we are emerging from these difficult and fragile times with worries still of variance and worries of anti-Semitism abroad and here at home and polarization continuing to grow, finding comfort feels especially vital. Reading from our prophets is one way to do so. But Nahamu, this idea of comfort, can be elusive. A date on a calendar, a designated reading, aren't like a magical, mystical light switch, which when flipped, moves us from darkness to light, from pain to instant comfort. And likewise, our tradition isn't naive enough and doesn't expect us to suddenly turn from complete mourning and loss and destruction and sadness to comfort and healing and hope. Instead, we are invited to see this Shabbat as a starting point, as a gradual point, really on our seven week journey to the new year, to Rosh Hashanah, to a better spiritual and communal health. And like any good trip, we should pay closer attention to our surrounding, to the sites, expected and not, and begin or continue to appreciate and, and, and recalculate, or as ways will sometimes help us recalculate when necessary. When looking for comfort along the way, Rabbi Josh Levy asks the question that I think many of us ask. Where is comfort? Where, where does it come from? And what form does it take? We as children could, could maybe answer that question quickly, but I think as adults, that is a more difficult question to answer. He notes that elsewhere in the Torah, the Hebrew word nun chet mem, where we come to this word nachum, which forms, it's the root of the word nechama, comfort has some very different meanings. In Genesis, we read, Vayenachem Adonai ki asa et ha'adam, and God, Vayenachem, God regretted that God had made Adam. Not the meaning we would expect. In Exodus 13, God leads the people out of Egypt by a roundabout route, ken yinachem ha'am, in case the people yinachem, in case they had a change of heart. Also maybe not what we would expect from the word. And then the scholar of Eva Zornberg quotes Rashi, who understands the word nechama, comfort, as being about machshava acheret, having a different kind of thought. So comfort regret, a change of heart or thought, all have in common that they represent a change in how we think about our experience. A change in how we think about our experience. Initially, Rab Itzik didn't believe there was anything noteworthy about the dream he had. Not until he changed how he thought about his dream. Not until he had a change of heart and acted did he discover the treasure that was in fact already in his very own home. So what do we think true comfort might mean? Perhaps it can be found in the verses cited above. Perhaps it can be found from the Hindu parable about a student, it's a beautiful passage who frequently complained and to teach her student a lesson the master told, perhaps you know the story, told her to put a handful of salt 
into a glass of water and then to drink it. And it tasted bitter. And then the master told the student to drop the salt into the lake and then to taste it again. And now, of course, the salt was diluted and the water tasted fresh. And this the master told her apprentice. The pain of life is pure salt. No more, no less. The amount of pain in life remains the same, exactly the same. But the amount of bitterness we taste depends upon the container we put the pain in. So when you are in pain, the only thing you can do is enlarge your sense of things. Stop being a glass and become a lake. So on Shabbat Nachamu, we strive not to erase our pain, nor the growth that can come from it, but rather to become a lake. This Shabbat, as we all need comfort for one reason or another, let us draw from the words found in Exodus as the Israelites were wandering in the desert and be at times vulnerable and at other times courageous willing to have a change of heart when needed. May your lake be as large as needed and your treasures closer than ever imagined. As we say, Nachamu, Nachamu, Amu. Let us once again come together and comfort. Join me, please, as we turn to our, our closing words that it is upon us, it is Aleinu, it is for us, to do on page 586 as we rise in body or in spirit. Page 599 as we continue. We think of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at this season in years past, and those whom we have drawn into our hearts with our own in the period of Shloshim, these last 30 days. We are mourning the loss of Sharon DiMatteo, temple member, Ralph Bookbinder, brother-in-law of Alan Skirker. Sandra Ribb, mother of Deb Ribb, and Margie Taylor, sister of Bess Lewis. Tonight marks a yard site, or this Shabbat marks a yard site, an anniversary of passing for Earl Anderson, Harvey Birnbaum, Betty Bloom, Irving Bloom, Michael Bondi, Penny Cook, Jean Dates, Helene Fabian, Henry Duke Ferrioli, Camille Geiger, Dorothy Jacobson, Evelyn June Kagan. Sylvia Kaplan, Max Less, Leonard Levy, Thelma Lingenfelter, Ernest Mitzner, Marion Pearlstein, Paul M. Rosen, Manuel Rothstein, Gertrude Rothstein, Marty Schildkraut, Morton Schneider, Judith Schutzer, Schutzer Gerald Zuckert, Diana Weiser, and Barbara Whiteman. If there are other names that you would add to either list, or again, names that are better spoken aloud by you, please, as I look your way, would you share that with me? Thank you. 
May their memories be for a blessing as we join together in the words of the mourners Kaddish. Yitkadal v'yitkadash me rabba ve'alma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute v'chayechon v'yomechon v'chaye d'chol b'et Yisrael v'agala u'vizman kari v'imru. Amen. Yehesh me rabba mevarach le'olam ome umaya v'yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit ba'ar v'yit ramam v'yit naseh v'yit hadar v'yit hale v'yit halal shmei d'kudusha b'rifu Ve'ilam in kol birchata v'shirata, tushpechata v'nechamata, da'amiran be'alma v'imru, amen. Yehe shlam ha'rabba min shamaya, v'chaim aleinu be'al kol Yisrael v'imru, amen. Ose shalom v'imramab, huya ase shalom, aleinu be'al kol Yisrael v'al kol Yoshvei Tevel v'imru, amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us, to all Israel, to all who are mourning. And let us join together in saying, Amen. Amen. And please be seated. Please be seated. We want to thank all of you for being with us tonight. Thank you for being with us at home as well. Thank you to Toby Olson for being our greeter this evening. Give a give a wave, Toby. If you're if you're give a wave if you're visiting us for the first time tonight. Toby. You see, you see who's visiting for the first time. If you haven't yet met our, our first time visitors, please make your way to Toby or Toby to you if you haven't met and, uh, and we're delighted to have you and, uh, and, and welcome each other as well. And, and to all of you at home, we're, we're always pleased to, to, to be together. <laughs> this Sunday morning, there is a memorial for Barbara Phillips here at 11 a.m. in this same space. And, uh, and Monday evening at 6 p.m., the Torah Chanting Club will be meeting. Next Friday night, the 30th, we have our Shabbat under the stars. So while you're in the praying mode, pray for good weather, please. Uh, it's, and, uh, and, and we'll, we'll look forward to, to convening outside as well. And don't forget bug spray, right? And, and right, right, right. So, sun spray, bug spray, you know, <laughs> umbrellas, whatever, whatever is needed, right? Come with your good, your good full praying hearts and, and, and we'll do what we best can. We want to, uh, we want to muzzle to welcome Rachel Greer as Temple Sinai's uh, teen engagement leader. She will help to create, promote, and oversee social, cultural, and leadership programs for our teens. Um, if you are a Temple teen, or if you know a Temple teen, or you know a Rochester Jewish teen who, who might want to be connected, please reach out to, to Rachel. Also for our ninth to 12th graders, there's a, week, a wonderful week-long immersion, uh, academic immersion program um, at uh, Nazareth College takes place, place each summer, where youth from a variety of religions will take place in, with, in take part in seminars and workshops featuring all, all different um, members of the faith community. And there'll be some, some trips as well. And you can find that information or your teens can find that information on our website as well. Um, any other announcements, anything that we should know from where you are? I, I, any, any joys that we should know about? Any accomplishments, any, any, any oys, anything that we should know about? Okay. Okay, then we will, we will continue by, uh, by giving thanks for what we are about to enjoy. I said to, to Mary, uh, on your way out, you will see after we, we make Kiddush and Motzi, you will see some, uh, some grab and go goodies for your own egg. Uh, some of my colleagues are calling it a gone egg, right? Doing the same thing. So, so yeah, enjoy your sweets and treats. Enjoy your dinner at home. Help us give thanks for, for that which sustains us. It's a new world, Golda, isn't it? Feels new. Feels new. Yeah. It, I said it's a new world, right? Where everybody's doing things differently, right? And then while we are waiting, if you want to flip ahead to page 647, our closing song will be O Se Shalom. O Se Shalom, Bibrama, Huya Se Shalom,
שבת שלום, שבת שלום.